Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and to more of the latest on pro wrestling. And coming up, we got the latest news regarding WrestleMania. Some breaking news that is, as WWE added an extra night to it. And it's not just going to be happening at the Performance Center. We also got all the latest news regarding the Hall of Fame and when exactly that is said to take place. As it looks like WWE changed some plans around. WWE social media account gets attack the exalted one has finally been revealed on aew dynamite and the latest regarding the situation that we are in wwe monitoring heavily top superstars like roman reigns and so on before we get into it though don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications to us always be up to date starting off uh, with some breaking news that directly from wwe today they just announced that wrestlemania is going to be an unprecedented tonight event to be hosted by Rob Gronkowski on WWE Network. WWE sent out the statement stating the following. WrestleMania 36 is now set for a historic tonight presentation on WWE Network taking place at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, April 4th and at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, April 5th. The 2020 edition of the Showcase of the Immortals will make history as the first span a across multiple days. Early on this week, it was announced that WrestleMania 36 will emanate from the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, and only essential personnel will be on the closed set during production due to obvious circumstances. Titles and legacies are on the line as WrestleMania 36 would feature a loaded match card from Drew McIntyre challenging WWE Champion Brock Lesnar, Universal Champion Goldberg defend his title against Roman Reigns, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch takes on Shayna Baszler, John Cena takes on The Fiend Bray Wyatt, and so on. Rob, who is going to be the host, as we stated, was the one to break the news. And of course, the three-time Super Bowl champion also promised more details when he appears on SmackDown this Friday. No other details have been revealed, but with everything going on, it does make sense for WWE to give us this event in a span of two different nights. Like that, they could separate the wrestlers their matches and have the wwe performance center a more safe working location for everyone involved there's no detail just yet on how they're gonna split up the match car but we do got the universal championship and also the wwe championship so those could be the two big main events that we get one on saturday and the other one on sunday this also gives a bigger chance for other superstars to be part of the big event as there's going to be more chances to get an actual match with WWE having to fill up two nights of entertainment. There's also no specifics just yet on how long each single night is going to be. Hopefully they keep it three to four hours. So that in total WrestleMania ends up being a seven to eight hours if you combine both of the nights, which is more or less what we already get anyways. To add even more news to this whole announcement, it looks like there are plans for multiple venues to host the event. According to ESPN personnel, the event would take place in multiple locations, not just the WWE Performance Center, or that according to their WWE sources. That other location for WrestleMania, we don't know just yet, but it will also be closed set with only essential personnel present. Both shows are set to not include fans and only essential personnel will be in attendance at the other venues. More to it in regards to all of this is the fact that WWE continue to say that it's gonna be happening on April 4th and April 5th. So it's more and more indication that they are not going to postpone WrestleMania. Even though over the last couple of days there have been multiple reports indicating that WWE could postpone it just to give it to us at a bigger venue like Madison Square Garden. I will of course keep you guys up to date but as of right now it seems like they're going a full head on and giving us Wrestlemania three weeks from now. Another hot topic of discussion has been what is WWE going to do with the Hall of Fame and it looks like uh, there is some new confirmations on what they have planned as Georgia Smith the daughter of British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith noted on Twitter that she spoke with the WWE and the company 
is hoping to do it around SummerSlam instead of WrestleMania, which means the ceremony will take place in Boston that weekend of the pay-per-view. She tweeted out the following, just a heads up, I have spoken with WWE and they are postponing the Hall of Fame for a later day and are hoping to do it for SummerSlam, which will be appropriate for my dad. Thanks again for all your support. Let's all stay safe out there. Obviously, plans could change, especially with WWE just making this massive announcement that WrestleMania is going to be two nights. So they might switch things around. We just don't know just yet. But of course, when putting it into perspective, having it happen at SummerSlam weekend actually is the best idea because maybe by that time, things have settled down more and things have gone to normal. Moving into some other news. So it looks like the WWE Twitter account got hacked early on in the day. The cover photo and profile image were removed and a tweet was left in there for about 10 minutes before it was deleted and things got back to normal. The cryptid tweet stated the following, the truth will be heard and they changed the bio to expose and watching. Now based on the way that it was written, it doesn't seem to be an actual hack. Instead, it could have been WWE playing on, on the storyline of what is happening right now on TV, where once in a while we get to see some type of glitches, of course hyping up and teasing a certain superstar that will be debuting. We don't know just yet who's that going to be. It could be Cross who recently signed with the WWE, but nothing has been confirmed just yet. And onto some other breaking news from tonight, the broken brilliance of broken Matt Hardy made his debut on AEW Dynamite. At the end of this week's AEW Dynamite, Chris Jericho gloated about the inner circle having the advantage over the elite in the upcoming 5-on-5 five five match. However, Matt Jackson said that even though Nick Jackson would not be available due to the injury, he was able to call a friend. Music played over the loudspeaker and Matt Hardy was shown high above the arena as the show closed out. So Matt Hardy is not the exalted one as many have speculated and for the time being he is OLE joining the rest of the elite members to take on the inner circle. So there it is and now we know exactly where the broken Matt Hardy is. So there it is now we know exactly where broken Matt Hardy is at. And I'm sure it's gonna be brilliant. AEW is more than likely going to let Matt Hardy shine by simply letting him of what he does best which is be creative with his own character. Talking about the exalted one so as promised and after weeks of hype the exalted one was revealed this week on AEW Dynamite. Early on in the show Evo Uno said that the exalted one will breathe new life into the dark order. He was then interrupted by Christopher Daniels who claimed that Evo Uno has been telling lie this whole time and that there is no exalted one and that they are the only member of the dark order. Daniel said Uno has wasted everybody's time and we are sick of it. Then we get the music playing on the big screen. A distorted voice that said dark orders does what they want. The voice distortion went away and the person took off the hood over his face and Brody Lee revealed himself. Brody Lee of course ex WWE superstar Luke Harper. He went on to lay waste on everyone in the ring and it looks like he is ready to take over an AEW Dynamite. On to some other news, WWE issued a statement on if wrestlers and staff are being tested for obvious reasons. WWE confirmed in a new statement to Sport Illustrated that all company talent and staff are required to participate in medical screening before entering the WWE Performance Center in Orlando. Due to everything that is going on and the fact that there are taping every single show within the facility, they stated the following, in consultation with WWE medical director, as a best practice and precautionary measure, all WWE performance and staff are required to participate in medical screening prior to entering WWE training center, which is now operating as a closed set. Furthermore, Sports Illustrated reports that WWE has established a series of protocols based on guidelines from the World Health Organization and so on. But due to the lack of testing for those in need, WWE sources close to the situation reported that WWE is not testing people that are showing no symptoms of what is going on. It's also worth mentioning that WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler revealed 
revealed in a new interview that everyone had their temperatures taken before entering the performance center before Monday Night Raw. To add to all of this, other reports have indicated that Roman Reigns is reportedly being monitored heavily by WWE doctors due to of course his battle with leukemia over the year. He has now been left with a weakened immune system. So because of everything that's been going on, WWE doctors are keeping close tabs on the former Universal Champion who is set to take on Goldberg at WrestleMania. It is worth mentioning that Roman Reigns is not displaying any symptoms, but of course it's a good thing for WWE to keep an extra eye on him and make sure that everything is safe. Anyways guys, that, that is all the coverage that, that I got for you on this video. If you enjoy, find it informative, don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications to be updated on more of the latest. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of anything that we ended up discussing today from WrestleMania, having an extra night added to it. Are you a big fan of it or not? What else do you want to see? What are your thoughts on the Exalted One being revealed as Luke Harper, who could be the one that is currently happening? Hacking the WWE and let me know of anything else that we ended up discussing today. Join up as we end the road to 200,000 subscribers. I'll see you on the next one, so stay savage.